comes from some guys that I was stationed with in Panama back in the 80s. And we developed a bond, a bond that was so tight until after we retired. Every two years, we would have a reunion. Since the pandemic, there has been no reunion. So quite natural, me and a brother named Jimmy Williams. Well, I should have warned y'all, this is gonna be a little emotional here. But stay with me with Jimmy Williams. Then Jimmy Williams was sitting in his yard. I was up in Charlotte visiting him and he says, uh, Ron, you know what? We ought to put on a reunion. And but God grant me a niece. Right. Will Major Belinda C. Carter come forward? <laughs> this young lady right here, like I tell you, is a piece of work. She could just make wonders. I mean, wonders out of nothing. You know, she not only achieved the rank that I retired at, but she also went on to become a major in the United States Air Force Reserve. So on this day, Linda C. Baker. I present to you, on behalf of the Panamanian Reunion Appreciation Award presented to Major Belinda C. Baker on her accomplishments and achievements while serving the United States Air Force Reserve. Uh, it's good to be here. I've heard so much about Panama that I think I know everybody here. Don't know your faces, but I know your experience. And uh, it's no doubt that um, Mr. Brazil and his wife have been a part of my family. My wife back there, uh, Cassie, uh, for 20 some years. And uh, um, Sergeant Roy Brazil, I served in Vietnam, 68 and 69, Ted Offense. My nephew, over here, he served in the Navy. Another brother served in the Air Force. My daddy, he served in the Army. You know, but if I, if I had to tell you anything about running, I don't know shit. <laughs> I don't, and nothing that I got in a fight where we're running, I don't know. <laughs> but I had to walk home with Jackie by her hand. Three dudes jumped on me. I left Jackie, made it home, mama whipped my ass. <laughs> then I had to go back and get Jackie. So after that, I learned how to fight. I whipped all three of them guys and never had to worry about no more. My, I, everybody had a brother. I had two sisters behind me. Where Ronnie was, I don't know. <laughs> she could have kept him where he was. And I tell you, he come home, he give me a call. Before he, I'm gonna tell you why he give me a call. He come home and take my call and go out there and somebody telling me, boy, your brother out there racing with everybody. I said, what? I said, your brother just racing with everybody. So one night, two guys came to my house and knocked on the window. I said, what's wrong? I said, Ronnie had a wreck. I said, what? I said, Ronnie had a wreck. I said, who was in the wrong? They said, I don't know. I know who it was already. So <laughs> then they tell me, yeah, riding and hit somebody. Turn the man all the way around on the wrong side of the road. They took my license. They took his license. <laughs> he caught the next flight out back in the service. <laughs> and I was stuck with everything.
Yeah. Mm -hmm. 